So I, I'm i live on another platform as well and just hit live there as well. So welcome. We are today speaking about the root chakras in business, which is all about the foundations, how you take root in your business. And you're welcome to ask questions. So if I'm looking up or down, that's just the two cameras. And I'm very happy that you are here. So what are the chakras in business? Um, just very similar, as you might know this, from your yoga practice, from meditation, from energy work, like everything, every entity, every person has chakras, right? So you have chakras in your hand, you have chakras in your body, you have chakras in your business, right? So knowing that um, there are the seven chakras from the root to the crown, and usually you start your business having this seed coming in from spirit. That's why it's in spirit. That's why I love to call my business InspireWorks. That's what it is. We work with inspiration. So once you have this seed of a plant, you plant it in to the ground, right? You bring an idea into the physical connection down to earth. So that is what the root chakra does, right? And so the, the, the role of a chakra is two things. First of all, to bring the energies, to be energized. And second, it's the connection to the other chakras. So the connection to, in terms of the root chakra, it's the connection to the sacral chakra, to the solar plexus, and the other way around to the crown chakra. So once you have your seed, your idea, your business idea planted physically, so that is when you incorporate, when you make the contracts, when you find resources. So that is the, the work of the root chakra. And it's very funny, actually, I just realized now I have a red shirt. So that's also the color of, <laughs> of the business, of the root chakra. So I'm <laughs> paying attention to this. Now. See, everything connects in your universe as it absolutely just should. So if you have a question and you don't know how to take root, how to stabilize your business, how to bring the security that you so much wish and deserve into your business so please ask questions here that's why i do this live i'm seeing your comments yes i do see your comments so if this is something um that you want to have like know how to energize more or how to connect the root chakra in your business to flow so ask the question you know where are you stuck so then i can help you immediately right away um, yeah, so I'll give you some examples. Um, many entrepreneurs, you know, have an idea and before they incorporate, it's like, let's try it out, which is a good thing. But then when you see some success, it's like, oh, I'm all about now I built this, I do that. And then not having the right foundation is kind of being in limbo. So you don't know about a taxman. Do I need to have accounting? Uh, where am I responsible to kind of, um, you know, where, where is what? So to organize this and to kind of plant the roots and let the roots grow is super helpful for your own and your business stability and your sense of security. Because the root chakra give, on an emotional level gives us the security to have, um, to, to have the resources to keep going, to be rooted, to have a stable foundation, right? So if that makes sense, then, then you grow these foundations, you, you broaden, you expand on the roots, you deepen the roots. And from there you can grow. Then you, you build up the systems, the stability, the message and everything else that we do in the other chakras, right? So if that makes sense to you, you know, there is a business chakra assessment that you can take to just see where you're at currently with your business. Um, the link is um, in the comments. Let me actually put it in the comments here. Where is the comments here in the comment section? Anyways, um, it is on the other platform. Hey, this is Helen Lee here. So good to see you, Helen. 
Um, let's just see, here's the comments thing. I'll just put the link so you can take the assessment. There we go. And also you can just reach out. Let's let's like we are here on these platforms to connect, to have built this friendship relationship. So send a friendship request if this is something that kind of content that you like and love. Okay, so another example about the root chakra is how you are how you find the access to resources and resources for a business are multiple you need to have resources in terms of financial resources time resources um mental resources team and then it's about how you access those resources how you multiply resources and how you set up a system that keeps you be in flow with all those resources does that make sense yeah, so let me know in the comments if that makes sense for you. Cool? Good. Um, what else? So we have to resources. Then it's to have also access to training, to skills, to knowledge, to everything that makes your business grow. So the question is, before you, you know, go and find out about the access, is do you even know what kind of resources do you know? Do you need right and then it's also about the quality of the resources do you want to have it cheap do you want to have it fast do you want to have high standard quality resources because the thing is the input is going to determine the output right the cause the effect right so when you have high quality input that is a lot of training or high standard quality materials that you work with um, then accordingly you will have a much higher margin in what you can actually ask in return of your service or product does that make sense okay so and it, as I said, you know, connect, let's connect. I can help you with, like, ask your question about the root chakra today, about the security, about the foundation, what it will take so I can help you build that up. If that makes sense for you, so we can connect, just send a friendship or take the business chakra assessment, which is really fun to take. So you can see which chakra is how, like how energized it is each one of the chakras and what is the energy flow between them. So today we focus on the root chakra and I cover now the, the foundations, the resources. Another thing is when you are set up, when you do corporations, being with a supplier, with a co-founder, with, um, with your clients, so what is the kind of connection that you create? Do you have contracts? Do you do this in writing? Is email enough for you or perhaps a text message somewhere? Or is it just like word? I'll take your word for it. This is also a question how you set up your foundations. Like on what foundations do you create corporations? On, on what basis do you work with your team? Do you even have a team? Do you build the team? What kind of resources do you put into your team? And do you give your team, right? So that's, again, the resource question that, that rounds up this uh, root chakra. So we have the resources, the foundation, the contracts, the incorporation. What else? Oh, very interesting is that I had a client that she was all about her business and she was super excited about having her business and she wanted to do marketing and everything. But the one thing she didn't set up is a bank account. And I was like, how do you want to receive you know, payments from your clients if you don't set up your, your bank account. And then this set up of the bank account, especially for online businesses, it was kind of, oh, that's techy, that's tricky, I don't know how, there's so many options. Yeah, that's right, but you have to connect all those channels. Like, how do you expect someone to be paying you if the, 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 the foundations of that aren't set up? So every chakra in your business, so this one would be the root chakra, the heart chakra, when we speak about money is the heart chakra. 
And yet that comes to the, is there a foundation so the heart chakra can even work? And that's the root chakra within the heart chakra. So I don't want to overcomplicate things now, but it's the question about the foundations, about the basics, right? So what is the basics for your business? What kind of resources do you need? How creative are you with your resources? So I had a, um, when, when I, so some of you know my story. So there was a time that I was completely out of finances. <laughs> and then there was a sentence by Tony Robbins that really, really, I connected to this. And it was like, if you don't have the resources, be resourceful. And being resourceful is also a really, it's a huge resource by itself because very often you don't need the money because the money you, you need for something, for a service, for a coaching, for whatever, right? And therefore, when you ask yourself, what, what is it for? So then you might ask, okay, how else can I get into this coaching? How else can I get to these resources? How else can I get security like what else will will give me that sense of security right and that is how you stabilize your business and create a sense of security and then the other part of this and again if you like this just ask your question about your root um like business <laughs> the root in your business chakra right so what are your questions about the foundations the resources the connections, the basics, right? And if there aren't any questions, I'll continue to the flow. Like what, what's the flow? How is, how is the root chakra connected to the other chakras in your business so that you get into that flow? So I would say, and it doesn't matter where you start because obviously they're all connected. I love to start with the connection between the root chakra and the crown chakra. I started with this at the very beginning because what you can do is when you have this idea this hunch this inspiration you take it down to the root and it's like what is the foundation of it is this viable can i do this what what's the what's the the, the how can this grow how can i fertilize this idea right and all of this is happening in the root right okay so that is the connection to the crown the crown is the seed, then it has to take roots. So when you take a real seed of a plant, also you have to put it first into the ground, cover it and let it grow. Like let the roots take, <laughs> take roots, how is it called? <laughs> um, and only then the whole system comes up. Only then something can grow out of it. Does that make sense? Cool. And also if you have questions, um about any of the other chakras you're very welcome to take the assessment and at the end you can ask the question about specific chakras in your business um yeah so just very quickly the throat chakra for example is about marketing communication the heart chakra is about how passionate you are about your business how much you love your business and it's all about the cash flow the circulation of money and sales in this case okay um you have the third eye that's the vision the goals um yeah then we have the solar plexus is all about the identity what is your business how is it set up <clears throat> and not in terms of how we just discussed this with the roots but like what's the identity the corporate identity the culture the connection and, and that connects to the sacral which is the organization and and um the setup and so and that again connects to the root right it has to stand on solid foundations okay so if that makes sense you can take the, the assessment to just look, have a look how you're set up and and where you're at with each one of the chakras which is a really fun exercise to do and yeah so so what is interesting is how the root chakra in your business is connected to the heart chakra because the heart chakra is actually what what makes the business flow like there's a circulation circulation of money and of resources and of clients so there's always the circulation and and the root chakra is like how do you how is this founded like on what 
does this stand on solid grounds? Is it like uh, ad hoc? Like, oh, I'm here and there, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Or is there like a system that you work with, right? And when you have this question answered, you have also a certainty about how many clients come in every month, right? Because it's not every month something different. So there is a system, there is a basis, there is like there is a foundation to, to your numbers. So you can have this sense of security to calculate, to be in flow. Um, yes, so that is, you can ask here again, if you have a question about your root, uh, the the, <laughs> the root chakra in your business and you can also ask questions about the other chakras um either next week i'll come live now once a week next week we will speak about the sacral um chakra which is all about the the, the then the organization the structures the culture how you cultivate the seeds that you planted here today um or in the in the root chakra in your business so that is how this all so beautifully connects okay uh what else um yeah so i would say we also cover the issue of security because many of us open a business or actually don't open a business because of security so Security or the sense of security is something very individual. What will give you a sense of security? And the thing is that um, it, it's very individual. For some, it's the, the knowledge that you can decide on your own um, hours when you want to work. For others, is that you know how much money you can create and that you're responsible for it. Um, for others, it, it's also the, the, the framework of how you work. And many don't dare to expand in their business, to scale their business, or to even set up their business because the root chakra isn't energized enough, right? But there is something you can do about it. So there we have all kinds of cool exercises about how to energize your business chakra and how to connect it to the other chakra so there is flow in that chakra. So that's a very, very cool exercise. And we have a couple of exercises, like some are kind of activation, like meditation visualizations, but others are really also about bringing the color, bringing the, like doing exercises, like affirmations or physical things like open your bank accounts or look for three kinds of other um alternatives for your resources so there's like <laughs> let's call it a vault of exercises of um activations that we co we create and that we are happy to share with you for those who take the assessment, so you're warmly welcome to tap into these resources. You can also reach out and a friend request and tell me, you know, privately, what is it that you're like, which business chakra do you want to have calibrated? What makes sense for you? And yes, and then we will take it from, from there. So let's see, are there any questions here? Let me just scroll through this here on this um this other platform okay so what else oh right the location of course the business chakra the root chakra is also very connected to the location where you show up so if you have a physical business obviously it's the the location you know, are you on a busy street or are you in a like like what's what's the energy what's the feeling on the street where you have your business founded is that the energy that is most suitable for your business like if people run fast walk fast so a fast food business is surely something good but if it's like something people stroll and the the, the energy like is slow and cozy so what kind of coziness maybe you have a flower shop there maybe a gift shop maybe a coffee shop you know so there is like an energy for every one of the businesses and you want to make sure that you set up your business on a street on a physical place where those energies correspond right so i don't know what city you're from you can tell me i'm here from zurich switzerland so there are streets 
with clothes, there are streets with banks, there are streets with coffees, and uh, there are all kinds of streets. Of course, there is kind of a mixture, um, but also like, you know, oh, I go this street, so I go shopping. I go this street, so I go for coffee. So the physical location indicates the energies for your root chakra. But so many of us do have online businesses. So what does that mean then for an online business, right? So also, um, let's say you have a favorite platform, be it Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, YouTube, LinkedIn, and you feel comfortable because that's kind, kind of your energy. So there's two things you have to pay attention. What is your energy? Where do you feel comfortable? But also, and, and likely more important, what is the energy that or what is the platform in this case that your clients are on, right? So if you have a more business focused um, business, so LinkedIn makes more sense, right? Unless you have business owners that are more on Facebook. So you know your audience, that's of course something connected to, to the marketing as well, but in the root chakra, so locate physically or like online, which is also kind of physically, where are your clients, right? And once you know that, so th then you build the resources, the channel to reach your clients, right? So once you set up the foundations of reaching your clients, you set the energy of reaching your clients, then everything comes together and they just walk in. Isn't that something so many of us just want? So when we say, hey, everything is about energy, that is what we mean. Because I don't go to a banking street to buy flowers or to buy, you know, to, to be inspired with a book. No, I go to the lakeside with my book. I want to have the cozy kind of coffee places. But when I go with my laptop, I don't go to the out outdoor coffee shops. And so, so there is like co-working spaces, co-working coffees, right? So therefore, accordingly, the energies of your business, the energies of your clients and your energies have to come together and match. And that is again, where do you plant the roots? So if you want to know more about it, let's connect. Maybe you want to send a friendship request. Oh, I just see the two, 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 two. And then also take the business assessment so I can give you personalized feedback on where you are at with your business, with your questions, and give you some insights on how that can look for you and how you can grow from the place you are. So again, the business, the, the business chakras or the chakras in your business, two things we want to accomplish in order to have growth and flow. The first thing is, as I just said, the flow, okay? So you wanna have flow between all the chakras. And the second thing is that there must be energy in each one of the chakras. So naturally you will have in some chakras more or less. What is interesting is to look at why do you have, do you have more in one, in the one or the other one of the chakras? And how can you calibrate them? And how can you learn from what comes easy to you, what you're doing well, to other chakras that aren't as energized as the chakra that is very in flow for you, okay? So if this makes sense, if this is something you love, so please reach out, let's connect and take the business assessment, the business, the, the, the chakra calibration assessment so we can have a look together what makes sense for you, which, which chakra is that it might be blocked, or where do you want to have more flow, and I'm so looking forward to give you some feedback on how to energize your business, how to bring your business into flow. And if that makes sense for you, let's connect. And next week I will be live with the second chakra, with the sacral chakra, and how that shows up in your business, how that forms, how those energies form the organization that you're in or the not organization that you have yourself like why is it what is the workflow why is that working so right and of course the emotional correspondence to that that make you have this kind of system or culture or organization so for many people that don't dare or don't know how to flow sorry how to to scale so that is one that you don't want to miss. I will do this from now on every Monday 
11.30 Central European time. That must be very early in the US, but you can tune in and always see the replay. That's okay. So search for my name. That's why it's important we also connect as friends. Um, if you're in the uh, Women Help Women group or if you're in my platform, of course, you know where to find me. So just be back same time. No, a little later. I'll do it half an hour later than today. Um, but same place. I'll do this again live on multiple platforms so i can see your comments so i can enjoy your feedback and yeah so i'm very happy to be here my name is nadine dill i'm a business coach and success mentor for a couple of years now and that's so such a beautiful thing to see how people start up their businesses scale their businesses and all it takes is the right energies in every one of the chakras so again if you want to have personalized feedback take the business chakra assessment i'll put in the comments again let me just put the link here again where you can find the chakra also here in this let me see here no that's the wrong thing okay yeah so you have this already in your comments just scroll through it and i'm sure you will find it or also just connect and let i'll send it over to you right away so have a wonderful start to this week it's going to be an amazing week strengthen your root chakra this is the week and once you're done so next week we'll be back to Build on the foundation you create today in your Yoru Chakra and build then the organization that your business can flourish and scale. Have a wonderful week. My name is Nadine Dill. See you.